Kaiser Transport, y'all. All right, what's going on? What's going on? This is uh, Lockout Men back again with another episode of Lockout Men Podcast. I got a special guest that came in today. Actually, we already done the damn thing before, but we had to come back and redo it. But that's what it's like. That's what it's like. All right. So we had a conversation before about this particular company, but uh, she called me back and she was like, yo, I got some more stuff to say about it and a few changes to do with it. I was like, okay, well, let's go ahead and reschedule and uh, and we'll get back at it. So right now we're going to reintroduce Tina Thompson from Kaiser Transportation to the show. How you doing, Tina? I'm great. How are you today? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I made it to this, made it to this, uh, I don't even know. I, I I don't even know. You know, it, it's not even about me right now. It's <laughs> it's it's about Kaiser Transportation. So, Kaiser Transportation. You 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 you're what to the company? What what what, what are you to the company? I am the marketing director for Kaiser Transport. All right, marketing director for Kaiser Transport. She you're you're the one that does all of the Facebook uh, sponsors, you're you're the one that talks yeah. to the talks to the potential drivers that that make comments inside of the uh, inside of the uh, group or the comments inside actually. the platforms. I do all the all the digital um, yeah digital uh, things. So yeah, I go in and do all of the uh, Facebook and uh, things like that. And handle oh digital advertising for. Yeah, for um, drivers. Yep. All right. So let me let, let's let's just get right into it. Um, you guys using Facebook uh, among amongst other uh, social media outlets. Um, what has changed for you guys to you know from advertising before? Uh, you know, y'all was just probably doing the little handbooks and stuff like that to advertising now on Facebook? Yeah, well, with social media, it's made it actually, you know, easier to recruit, easier to get out our message to everyone. Facebook's one of the best tools that we have just because more people are on that platform than any other. So, yeah, it's just made it a lot easier to reach the masses by putting out some sponsored ads to our targets and, uh, yeah, getting our message across to everyone. So it's kind of changed the landscape than, than the olden days when it was just, I mean, I wasn't, I didn't do this, you know, back back before digital was invented. So mm-hmm. I could imagine how difficult it was when it was basically, you know, phone calls and paper applications and things like that. I can imagine that was very difficult. Okay. Okay. Tries, uh, Ka- Kaiser, <laughs> Kaiser Transportation. <laughs> what, what can you, what, what can you tell uh, my viewers and, my uh, potential, you know, drivers that's watching this podcast and listening to it, what you guys could, uh, what, what, what you can offer, offer them. About, okay. hmm? Yeah. So uh, an open deck, coast to coast company, by open deck, I mean, we have step decks, double drops, coast to coast. So we run all over the country, basically not so much in the Southeast, but coast to coast otherwise. And, um, yeah, we are a small company. We have about 45 uh, trucks in the fleet right now. We hire all of our drivers. We don't do the owner-operator thing. Okay. So um, the company's company. been around. We're in our, yeah, just strictly company drivers. We're in our 24th year of business. So okay. that in and of itself for a company our size is really amazing compared okay. to the landscape of, of so, so many small businesses that don't make it this far. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we do a we do a really good job bringing in our drivers. Make sure 
you know, they're orientated to us. We have a, about a week and a half orientation. We are in Janesville, Wisconsin, just south of Madison. Okay. And uh, we give them top of the line equipment. So we, we have all uh, 2018 or newer Peterbilt 389. Okay. 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 So as far as your, as far as your drivers go, what, what do the company do for, uh, for their drivers? Like how, how do you guys keep retention down? Yeah, well, we, that's a huge, uh, company initiative for us is our retention. So every department is, that's always top of mind. Our drivers are always top, uh, top on our list. Uh, first thing we do, like I've mentioned, uh, we bring them in and make sure they're orientated with the company and feel comfortable with the equipment. They feel comfortable with the company. We make sure they're trained and all of those types of things so they're comfortable when they're out on the road. Mm-hmm. Uh, we check in with them. We have our, our safety and compliance manager in, in contact. We have a great driver manager. Uh, so we just make sure we're in contact with them and continual training. And we just take care of them as best we can. We've got just a lot of little perks and a lot of little things that we do to take care of our drivers and our drivers' families. Okay. That's a huge initiative for us. We know that's tough. It's tough when the guys are on the road, you know, all the time. It's tough for the family. So we're there and to support them any way we can. Okay. Okay. So the, so the, the drivers with, uh, what's, what's the, uh, driver to, uh, fleet manager what, what is it is it a low variance or high variance the i'm sorry what do you mean the, the like you know like how how many drivers uh a fleet manager take care of at once like do they got like 10 30 or whatever oh uh, yeah yeah no our fleet manager takes care of all all the drivers he's got a team though uh he's got uh guys probably two four guys under him mm-hmm. um so our fleet department really good job uh, all of our trucks are under warranty, so they're not running, you know, all the mechanics of everything. They're just doing, they're just doing maintenance, things that aren't covered by warranty of Peterbilt. So, yeah, so more time to really take care of our drivers. We offer little things like our fleet manager, obviously, their mechanics, uh, you know, we'll say, hey, you know, if your family has an issue with one of their cars and you're local, bring it in. We'll see okay. what we can do to, to get it fixed up for you. Okay. Or if you're not local and take it to a mechanic, you know, please send him the the quote, and he'll make sure you're getting a good deal. Oh, okay. So just little things like that that we do to really take care of our drivers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is uh. So do you guys do any northeast uh travel up there? If and if so, if a driver requests not to go up there, do do you guys force dispatch them out up up there? Yeah, we are dispatch. Um, yeah, we do run the northeast down to the southwest and all points in between basically mm-hmm. yeah we know we know that's a challenge <laughs> out on the east coast there that that's some tight tight driving we yeah, get that tight but areas and stuff yeah like that. yeah yeah it is it's tough so for, <laughs> for sure. what's what's the experience that you're that you that your company is looking for so we're looking for probably about two years of over the road coast to coast and at least six months to one year open deck so whether that be a step deck, a double drop, flatbed, so forth, uh, we're looking for those types of experiences with securements and so forth. We, uh, you know, we train uh, and orientate them. Like I said here, you know, we show them with the way we do it, but we're looking for somewhere to come in with some experience for sure. All right. So where are you guys located to uh, to get these drivers up to uh, up to orientation? Yeah, so we're located in South Central Wisconsin. So Janesville, Wisconsin, we're just about a half an hour south of Madison is our main terminal, and that's where we do orientation. We also have a satellite terminal in Santa Fe Springs, California, uh, near L.A. Okay. So that's where we're located. Okay. Now, once a uh, once a driver hooks up to a uh, hooks up to a flatbed or open deck trailer, he pretty much keeps it. Do is there any dropping hooks uh, in? in this um uh, in in you guys areas or is it like all live loads no. and stuff like that all live yep all live their their truck is theirs their trailer is theirs um we do open deck lpl so we do a lot of freight consolidation in our yard in janesville and our yard in california so yeah if there's no drop on hook there we we handle all of that 
uh, moving around of the freight and the consolidation. What's the uh, what's the what's the CP, what do you guys offer as far as CPM goes? So it varies because we have so many. Our compensation package is really huge, and it takes like an hour to go over an orientation. We offer accessorial pay, so they get paid for tarping and so forth for all those types of things. Mm-hmm. Uh, we offer uh, there's performance bonuses, so as long as you're keeping the truck, you know, without any damage, the freight without any damage, you know, there's bonuses there. So as a rule, with all of those things that kind of go into it, uh, we look at about fifty six to sixty two cents a mile. Uh, to start out, um, average drivers start out at about 75000 a year. So that's just like an average that we look at. So 75000 to 95000 a year is is our average uh, driver. All right. So, again, you guys looking for at least two years of experience and at least six months of uh, flatbed experience. But what if that driver has, like, more than – uh, a veteran driver, say like five years or five years plus, but he don't have no no flatbed experience. Would you guys still give him a chance to come on to 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 work with you guys? Would you guys work with him, or you guys don't don't train at all? Um, that as a rule, no. Uh, you know, and of course, there's there's certain situations that we you know we would look at it on a case by case basis. But uh, as a rule, no, we we definitely need uh, that open deck experience before we bring them on here. Okay, you guys do heavy haul as well, right? Yeah, we do a little bit. It's not our main. It's not our main bread and butter. Uh, but when the opportunity arises where it's in our lane and uh, it works for us, yeah, we we do that. Uh huh. All right, all right. So Kaiser, so Kaiser Transportation. You guys uh, been in been in it for uh, twenty plus years, and you guys located up in uh, Wisconsin, right? Correct. Right. Yes. So what else? What what else about the company would you like would you like uh, drivers to know about? Well, the main thing that we really pride ourselves on, and we are aware that a lot of companies will say this, that they're very, you know, family oriented and, and, and we, if you don't want to be known by just the truck number, we'll know your name. Yeah, um, we, we know that that's that. out there. <laughs> a lot of people say that. Yeah. yeah. But that's something that we really, really pride ourselves on as far as that. That's really how we run the business. Uh, we, we do run it like, like a family, all of the office staff, we all treat each other like family and, and we're the same way with the drivers. We just, uh, we all work really, really hard to keep this thing going. And, uh, yeah, that's just how we, we really, we, uh, kind of live by that. So we, we don't just talk the talk. We, we walk the walk. We should make sure to take care of each other for sure. All right. So you said, you mentioned, uh, the equipment, the Peter bills, what, what, what all the, yeah. what all of the amenities inside of the trucks that, uh, for drivers to get comfortable with? Yeah, well, our trucks are top of the line. We make sure that they're all, like I said, 2018 or newer. So there's none that are really older than a little over three years old. Uh, all of them have APUs. They all have uh, refrigerators, microwaves. So they're all definitely top of the line equipment. We make sure our drivers are taken care of in the truck and they look good they're going down the road. All right, all right, all right. Tina Thompson. For Kaiser Transportation, uh, let the guys know how they can get in contact with you, uh, Tina. Absolutely, yeah. Our website has all of our information, and that's where the application process starts. So it's just kaisertransport.com. You click on careers. There's all the information in there, wages, benefits. And so forth. And like I said, there's also a short application that gets gets the process started and gets you into our system for hiring. All right, all right. That's Kaisertransport.com.com, dot com, right? Dot com? Yep, that's correct. Okay. Yep. That's Kaisertransport.com. You guys, if you guys is interested in uh, you know, Kaiser Transportation, as long as you as long as you guys have the experience, I mean, you know, like I said, flatbed, flatbed is unfortunately not for me, but if it's for you <laughs> and you got and you got some flatbed, well, not some, she said six months. So if you guys have at least six months experience and two years out there, uh, this company may uh may be for you, may be for you. As far as the Peterbills go, do you have a uh, do you guys got driver facing cameras 
uh, or do you guys have cameras in, in, in the vehicles? We have front facing cameras. Okay. That's, that's facing. So yeah. That, yeah. That's facing outside, not inside. Right. Yep. Oh, okay. Correct. Okay. Yep. Because a lot yep. of, a lot of drivers have hangups on, uh, they have hangups on that, you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't blame them. I don't know. I don't want a camera on me all day either. I don't blame them there. So no, just, just front facing cameras. Right, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, Tina, I do appreciate you coming on again, you know, to, uh, well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, definitely for, uh, for getting, uh, Kaiser transportation out here. Uh, if you guys is interested in Kaiser Transportation, again, the website is KaiserTransportation.com. And you guys can also. Oh, KaiserTransport.com. Oh, Kaiser Transport. <laughs> Kaiser Transport. Kaiser, We're not transportation. Yeah, KaiserTransport.com. Kaiser, KaiserTransport.com. Kaiser uh, definitely, yep. look, definitely look them up. Um, they're over the road. Uh, they've been in business for 20 years. And like she said, you know, it's not a cliche, but they're really. Uh, family oriented and it sounds like they uh they take care of their drivers how long what's how, how what's the longest driver that's working there right now like you know as far as years ago yeah we've got a couple of guys that have been here since the beginning so we have um I'm trying to think i think we're our top driver it has been here since the start uh 24 or 24 years and we have one that's 23 years after that, I think our longest is like 12, 9, 7, 6, and 5 years, give or take. All right. All yeah, right. so we've got some guys that have been here a while, so they're great mentors. All right. Well, again, I appreciate you coming on and uh, and uh, promoting Kaiser Transport. Transport, yes. right? Transport. <laughs> yes, yes. Yep. If you, you got it. You got it. If you guys want to come on and uh, chop it up with me on the Lockout Man Podcast show, you most certainly can. You can hit me up in the Gmail. That's LockoutManPodcast at gmail.com. Or Instagram. You can grab, you can go over there and hit me up in the DM. If you guys want to know any of the companies out here, definitely let me know which ones, and I would probably get a hold of them and see if they want to come on like tina did if you guys are a company like tina and want to come over and promote your uh promote your company to get you know to get it out there let me know and we'll chop it up about the company i appreciate you guys i am your humble host lockout men and this is the lockout men podcast show somebody's gonna play me out so with that said, if you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. If you like the video, make sure you thumbs up. And if you guys want to know more, definitely leave it in the comments below and I will forward the information from me to Miss Tina Thompson. Until then, y'all, y'all take it easy. Y'all have a blessed day and I'll get back at you with another video. Peace. All right. How was how was that, Tina? Better? How